Strong way to install silt fence. I'm going to cover that today. I'm going to talk about the orientation of the silt fence, the difference between standard silt fence, steel reinforced silt fence, and bio logs. So let's get started. We're out here installing silt fence. Now we've already got one row of silt fence which has been up and functioning for about 90 days now. But the city wants to see a reinforced silt fence. And I'm going to show you the difference between them and I'll show you how to install them. Jake's doing the manual. He's just manually digging a trench. You can get a trencher. This way works good. You gotta get about a six inch deep trench to tow it in. And as we look at the one that's already been installed and in, in service for a while now, you can see that it's actually buried right there. And that's a key element. The other thing is there, which way you orient the silt fence. The fence will have wood stakes, a reinforced silt fence looks like this it actually has wire mesh it's more of a permanent structure and then we use posts to frame those in let me show you the orientation on this site so you can kind of get a feel for it you can see that the posts are on the downward side so what that means is as the runoff comes down the hill it'll hit, hit the fence and if you get a blowout, the stake remains in place and the fabric will tear in between it. So fence, if we had flipped this around, fabric was oriented on this side of the stake, then the mud could go all the way down and through. So it's important that you orient the silt fence the right way. So what Jake's doing right now is he's getting the silt fence initially set, putting the bottom of the extra length in place. Now this fence actually has a flap dedicated to fold over so you can kick it in and then cover it with soil. This is a great example of what I'm talking about, orientation of the silt fence. Any of the silt that comes down the sediment will hit the silt fence fabric material on this side and then be stopped or reinforced by the wire mesh on the back side of this fencing. Okay. We're getting the new silt fence installed. P important point, you cannot forget, no gaps. Look at the bottom of this silt fence. It's all been dug in six inches deep. There's no gaps. A lot of times you'll see a silt fence flopping in the wind. That's not properly installed. Plus, green fence post, green fence post, green fence post. Every six feet, we're gonna be reinforcing this silt fence with fence posts because this is steel silt fence. This was standard silt fence. The wood stakes that are included are adequate. If you can't drive a silt fence in place, dig it and tow it in. Another option are these bio logs. I'd recommend staking them in, otherwise they can wash away. You can stake them, in this case, this is the downward side, or you can drive a stake physically through the bio log. I don't prefer to rip the fabric at all. I have seen it done. I like to keep it in place, keep it whole, keep it on tour. I don't like to drive a stake through it if I don't have. Two sill fences in place, erosion control set. Ideally, this should have been sodded. Vegetation should have been established, then we wouldn't have needed a silt fence, but sometimes it doesn't